today we're diving into some seriously exciting tech news that's got the industry buzzing. Huawei, the giant Chinese tech company, is reportedly gearing up to produce a 3 nanometer chip with 6G capabilities by 2026. Yes, you heard that right. 3 nanometer and 6G in one package. This is a massive deal, and it could shake up the global tech landscape in ways we're just starting to wrap our heads around. Let's talk about it. Hey everyone, it's Sir Ant in China. How are y'all doing today? I hope you're having a lovely day. I'm having a super fantastic day over here in Shenzhen, not only due to my fantastic viewers helping to support the channel by either hitting that subscribe button and throwing me a thumbs up if you like the videos, buying me a cup of coffee, but I've got some amazing news. I just bought my first house in China. It is an amazing place. And if you want to know more about it, what it looks like, where it is, how much it costs, and how much it's going to save us in the long run as we prepare for retirement, let me know down in the comments and I'll be happy to share that information with you. But for now, let's talk about this new and exciting technology coming out of Huawei. First off, Let's talk about what a three nanometer chip even is. For those new to the tech world, the nanometer number refers to the size of the transistors on a chip. Smaller transistors means you can pack more of them onto the same chip, which boosts performance, cuts power consumption, and makes devices faster and more efficient. Right now, the industry leaders like TSMC and Samsung are already playing in the three nanometer space, but Huawei's entry is a big deal because they're doing it under some serious constraints. Now, we'll get to that in a second, but just imagine a chip so tiny and powerful, it could make your smartphone feel like a supercomputer from a sci-fi movie. Well, Okay, maybe not that dramatic yet, but you get the idea. Now, the 6G part is where things get really exciting. We're all still getting used to 5G, right? Faster downloads, smoother streaming, and all those other good things. But 6G is the next frontier, promising speeds up to 100 times faster than 5G with super low latency and the ability to connect way more devices at once. Think self-driving cars communicating in real time, super smart AI systems, and even holographic video calls. Anyone else getting Star Wars vibes? Huawei has been a leader in 5G tech, so it's no surprise that they're already looking ahead to 6G. But combining that with a 3 nanometer chip? That's like putting a rocket engine in a sports car. So, how is Huawei pulling this off? Well, here's where the story gets interesting. Huawei has been under US sanctions since 2019 which cut them off from key tech like ASML's extreme ultraviolet lithography machines, which are those fancy tools needed to make super tiny chips. But Huawei didn't throw in the towel. They're working with SMIC, China's biggest chip maker, and they're using something called DUV lithography with multi-patterning. Now, this is like trying to paint a masterpiece with a toothbrush instead of a fine brush. It's harder, less precise, and costs more, but they're making it work. They're also exploring cutting edge tech like gate all around transistors and even carbon nanotubes instead of traditional silicon. Carbon nanotubes? It sounds like it's straight out of a sci-fi novel, doesn't it? But it is real. Let's take a look at those two approaches. Gate All Around, or GAA, is a transistor design that wraps the gate around the channel, reducing power leakage and boosting efficiency. Samsung's already been using it for their 3 nanometer chips, so Huawei's playing in the big leagues now. The carbon nanotube idea, however, that's next level tech. These tiny tubes could potentially outperform silicon, making chips faster 
and more power efficient. Huawei's already done lab tests and is adapting this technology for production. If they nail it, it's going to be a game changer. And not just for them, but for the whole industry. Okay, let's zoom out and talk impact. If Huawei and SMIC pull off 3 nanometer chip production by 2026, it's a huge win for China's push for semiconductor self-sufficiency. Right now, the global chip industry is dominated by a few players, TSMC, Samsung, and Intel primarily. Huawei, entering the 3 nanometer race, could shift the balance, especially since they're doing it without Western tech. This could mean more competition, which is great for innovation and maybe even prices for us consumers. Imagine cheaper, faster phones and gadgets. Um, yes, please. But it's not just about smartphones. Huawei's chips, especially with 6G, could power everything from AI systems to smart cities. But it's not just about smartphones and gadgets. Huawei's chips, especially with 6G, could power everything from AI systems to smart cities. For example, their Ascend AI chips are already giving NVIDIA a run for their money, and a 3 nanometer 6G chip could supercharge AI applications like real-time language translation or advanced robotics. Plus, 6G's insane speeds could make things like remote surgeries or autonomous drones way more reliable. It's like stepping into the future earlier than expected. But let's address the elephant in the room. Geopolitics. Huawei's progress is happening against the backdrop of US-China tech tensions. The US has tightened export controls, recently even banning the global use of Huawei's Ascend AI chips because they allegedly use American tech. China's not thrilled about this, and they've hinted at using anti-sanction laws in response. This chip race isn't just about tech, it's a global power play. If Huawei succeeds, it could reduce China's reliance on foreign technology, which is a big deal for not only their economy, but their national security. It might also escalate trade tensions, so buckle up for some tariff war drama to come. There's also the question of whether Huawei can actually deliver. Industry experts are a bit skeptical because DUV-based 3 nanometer production is super complex with lower yields and higher costs. Think of baking a super fancy cake with basic kitchen tools. It's possible, but you might wreck a few cakes first. Huawei's already had success with 5 nanometer chips, like the Kirin X90 in their MateBook Pro, so they've got some real life experience. But 3 nanometer is a whole new level, and they're aiming to finalize the design by 2026. That is ambitious to say the least. So, what does this mean for you and me? Well, if Huawei pulls this off, we could see faster, more efficient devices hitting the market sooner than later. Their 6G tech could push other companies to speed up their own 6G plans, meaning we might get those crazy fast networks sooner, regardless of whose side we're on. But there is a flip side. More competition could mean more fragmentation in tech standards, especially if the US and China keep playing hardball. Imagine having to pick a phone based on whether it works with Western 6G or Chinese 6G. That could become an issue for a lot of customers. Let's wrap this up with a big picture thought. Huawei's 3 nanometer 6G chip is more than just a tech upgrade. It's a bold statement. It says, hey, we're still here and we're pushing the boundaries despite the odds. So whether you're rooting for Huawei or not, you've got to admit, it is impressive. It's like they're running a marathon with weights tied around their ankles and still keeping up with the rest of the pack. Now this could spark a new wave of innovation, challenge the status quo, and 
maybe even make our gadgets cooler and faster. So what do you think? Are you excited for 6G? Or are you worried that the tech war is heating up? Drop a comment below and let's chat about it. But for now, I'd like to say, as always, thank you so much for joining me on today's video. And if you want to see a video about my purchase and what my new house looks like in the future, once again, let me know in the comments below. But for now, thanks again, and we will see you in the next video. Sai Jen.